other news tonight. Some Falls Church residents say they are really being taken to the cleaners. That's because their local dry cleaner abruptly closed up shop with the customer's clothing still inside. Tom Rousey live with more on this story you saw first on 7. Tom? And Allison, still at this hour, we're seeing a lot of customers coming by here. They're expecting to get inside the dry cleaners, but instead they're finding a locked door and a sign up that says that they were going to be closing on April 30th a few days ago. What's really ticking people off? It says we will not be responsible for any clothing not picked up before then. Well, customers say sure would have been nice to get a warning about that. Well, I'm very upset. I can't believe it. All day long, customers have been pulling up to Max Cleaners expecting to pick up their clothes and instead winding up in disbelief that the store is suddenly not open. Wow. Wow. That's shocking, really. Unbelievable. Inside, you can see hundreds of items of clothing that no one can get to. Making things worse, customers say the store made them pay in advance. No credit all cash up front. Nicole Jensen says her husband's five favorite shirts are all inside. Her ticket says as of April 11th, she had 30 days to pick them up. The sign inside the store also says customers have 30 days, but she says she had no warning the store would be shut down before that. They have everybody's phone number. You'd think that they would at least make a phone call and just say, you know, we're closing our store, come and get your stuff, at least a courtesy phone call, but nothing. Some customers dropped off clothes as recently as last week. One week ago, that sign was not there? No, no. They didn't give any warning. We don't even know who owns the place or anything like that. Virginia State Records list the owner as Sung Man Kim. No one answered the door at his address in Fairfax, and when ABC7 went to another cleaners he reportedly owns that is still open, employees said he wasn't there. With no word coming from him, customers are left wondering if they'll ever get their money or their clothes back. I'm very upset. They've stolen from me. And back out here live, one customer left their own message on the door calling what the store did shameful and going on to say that you have essentially stolen from your customers. Now, Fairfax County has gotten involved in this, and they are asking folks to complain to Fairfax County Consumer Affairs if they have clothes inside here that they can't get to. They say they're going to try to work with the landlord to get people their clothes back eventually. As for the money, that's kind of up in the air right now. If you want more information on how to file a complaint with them, you can find it on our website. WJLA.com. Live in Falls Church, I'm Tom Rousey, ABC 7 News.